Hello. In our next lesson, we're going to be taking a look at what is called the Financial Data Extractor within X3. Now, the Financial Data Extractor is kind of the built-in financial report writing tool that comes with X3. Um, with the Financial Data Extractor, otherwise known as FDE, uh, you can create a lot of different financial statements, including balance sheets, income statements, uh, different types of budgetary or sales forecasting reports, gross profitability reports, and also reports with analytical dimensions and or pyramids. Okay. Uh, it's also important to note that the financial data extractor has a uh, reporting wizard that can help you with the construction of these reports. So let's go ahead now and go into X3 and take a look at how we can go about and run a income statement uh, with the FDE tool. So here we are within X3. We're going to go and start under our financials menu. Scroll down to the reporting block. Then under Financial Data Extraction, go to the Inquiry option. Okay. Over here in our left list, we're going to go to the North American Report Book. Open up our option here for the income statement. And here is an income statement for May's accounting period. Okay, so it's a, this one here is a pretty generic income statement, but you can get these to be more um, fancy depending upon what the requirements are of your um, financial organization. All right, so here we got all the accounts groups. We have a month-to-day configuration as well as a year-to-date presentation. Okay, so now let's say we want to generate the income statement for June's accounting period. We're going to come over and click on this calculation box. For your version code, I'm going to go ahead and give it a new version. So in this case, uh, 2015 period 6. I'm going to go ahead and update my description. Now, down in the parameter section, I'm going to update the dates pertaining to the month-to-date figures as well as the year-to-date figures. So in here, I'm going to update this. And we'll do the same for the year-to-date. Then once I have my new parameters set, I'm just going to come over here and click on OK. Alrighty, so now I have my results for the June accounting period. Now you'll also note if I come over here and click on the update um, icon. Now over here in my left hand list, I have my uh, May data as well as my June data. So next, if I want to output these results, there's a couple different ways that I can do that. One way would be to come over, click on this print icon, then go down to record. Then in this case, I'm just going to pull it up to my PDF preview here. Um, it, it's important to note, um, with these parameter settings as they're presently set, it's just going to pull up your groupings of accounts as you have them defined. But if you want to run the report to have like individual GL account detail or individual dimension detail, you can go ahead and set these parameters to yes. Okay. So when I click on print here, this in part is going to generate a PDF file for me. And here is the PDF uh, file. Again, this is June's statement. And here are the results in PDF format. Now, 
Now alternatively, if I wish to output the results to Microsoft Excel, I can click on the Action button in the upper left hand corner of the grid, come down to Excel Export, click on the Export button here, then that pulls up this Excel icon which is going to go ahead and launch Excel. And here are what the results look like um, outputted to a Microsoft Excel workbook. So those are the two primary means of um, generating a basic uh, income statement out of X3. Um, if you find these videos to be useful, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to inbox me. Thank you a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.